Hi everyone and welcome to Millionaire Mondays. Today's session is about doing the right activities and doing the activities right. So how much time are you spending on income producing activities each day? I want you to take a diary and write it down into 30 minute increments. Write down exactly what it is that you do every day in 30 minute sections. You know, like um, had breakfast, maybe that took 30 minutes, uh, called a client, read a book, did the washing. I don't know, whatever it is for you, but break that up into 30 minute sections that you write down for just, just for today. Why not try that just for today and then try and do that tomorrow and the next day as well. Why? Well, because I've got a business coach called Nick Christellis and Nick came to me a few years ago and said, how are things going? I said, it's going great, but I find myself, I'm really busy at the moment. So he goes, well, what are you doing? I said, well, there's lots of stuff on the go. There's, you know, clients to see and meetings to have. And, and it's just, it's frantic at the moment. So he said, well, if you really, let me help you with that. If you're really struggling with the, your day and the busyness of it, why don't you do what I just asked you to do? Write down, he told me to do it in 15 minute increments. Write down every 15 minutes what you did for that previous 15 minutes. Do that for a week and let's have a chat on Friday. Well, I must be honest, it was a little bit embarrassing because when I presented him with exactly how busy I was during that period, I found out that I was doing a lot of stuff, but not a lot of it was related to income producing activities in the business and I decided to change things there and then. So I know that there's always going to be admin to do and paperwork and design work and if you're in real estate flyers to create and databases or databases to update etc. But my question is did you do the work that brings home the bacon first? Because that's critical. You know, did you uh, make those calls that you were meant to? Did you write those personal notes and under lockdown, if you can't write personal notes, did you create personalized video messages that you could send out? What items of value to your clients have you sent this last week? Who have you sent them to? In the previous episode, we gave you a glimpse into how to prioritize that time who to call, when to call, how to rate clients A to B to C to D. Have you done that? Because otherwise you're going to find yourself lost in this whirlwind, going in all sorts of different directions without any focus on wh where the money actually comes from. How many appointments have you made? But you may go, but I'm in lockdown. Well, guess what? You can still make appointments, Zoom, WhatsApp, House Party, FaceTime, and there's a whole lot more of these apps that allow you to still have those appointments, right? But what if you're too busy to do all that, plus all the admin stuff and paperwork and, and stuff that goes with it? Well, I'd argue that there's more than enough time in a day to do just five calls to clients or to send them five personalized video messages using WhatsApp or using an email to deliver it. That you can send one item of value this week and make it an item of value to them, not just promoting yourself and singing your own praises. And what about conducting and setting one appointment this week? I'd argue there's more than enough time to do that. So let's do the math. Five times 10 minute calls to your clients five one minute video messages, one 30 minute, that's probably how long it will take you to create a, a useful item of value, and one times 30 minutes for setting an appointment and conducting an appointment. So by my, my calculation, that's less than two hours in a day. Now, if you wanna to get to that million mark quicker than the rest, double up. And remember to finish your calls with Hey, I'm never too busy for any of your referrals. Or if you have any friends and family uh, that may be looking for, for someone to help them from a real estate point of view, uh, I'm certainly there to help you. Or whatever industry you might find yourself in. Remember to always close off the call because just because you're phoning that person, they might not necessarily be ready to buy or sell or use the service you have. Remember, referrals are going to be your best source of leads right now. Now that still leaves you most of your day 
to work on your admin stuff, and more importantly, to work on yourself. There are two things that you need if you want to be successful. Willingness and ability, or willingness and skill. Now skill, I can teach you. You bring someone to me with a great attitude, and I can teach them, and I can mold them, and I can give them the skills that they need to be successful. But willingness is on you. Willingness is all to do about attitude. Willingness is all to do about whether you're willing to do the tasks that you need to in order to be successful. So we've spoken about doing the right activities. And you need to figure out in your industry what that is. In real estate, we know what it is. This is a contact game. It's a contact sport. You need to get on the phone, you need to get in front of people, even if you can't physically right now under lockdown, you can find other ways to do that. But you need to get that done. Sort your relationships out, your business relationships out, you know, right now. But part two is equally important, and that's doing the activities right. A famous South African golfer, Gary Player, used to always say, the more I practice, the luckier I get. Are you practicing? Are you honing in your skills? Or do you just step onto the field and hope for the best? A friend of mine used to be a professional sportsman, he used to play for the Proteas. In his field, he was the best in the world. His name's Jacques Cullis. Now, the difference between Jacques, who's a master at what he does, and the average cricketer, is that the average cricketer will practice something until they get it right. Jacques would practice something until he couldn't get it wrong. A big difference in differentiation between the two. When the rest of us had finished our practice, when we had hit our shots and bowled our balls, we went home. While Jacques was still there two hours after us with his dad throwing cricket balls at him. So he'd hit cover drive after cover drive after cover drive perfectly for two hours. And he'd continue to do that. He continued to do that later in his career when he was scoring hundreds and 150s and 200. He would continue that same consistent approach because he knows even as good as he is, there's always something to learn. Invest the time in yourself. You know, Remax agents fortunately have access to so many resources inside of our brand to do exactly that from our e-learning platform to the Mac Center, our courses, the videos available, the knowledge that our broker owners impart on them, the Millionaires course that we're running, which very much ties into this Millionaire Mondays series, our Peak Producer program, which talks about prioritizing and relationship management and so many more, together with scripts that should be used and practiced so that you're comfortable when presented with tricky situations. There's so many resources available right now in every industry. So if your company isn't providing you with those skills, you can still teach yourself. You can hop online. You can go to sites like Udemy and Future Self Academy to learn just about everything under the sun or to improve on what you currently know. In today's world with access to the internet, there absolutely is no excuse for us not working on ourselves from a personal development perspective. So my two questions come back to the title of this episode. Are you doing the right activities and looking at how you can maximize your time doing them? And secondly, are you working on yourself and how you can make yourself better? I look forward to catching you on the next Millionaire Mondays episode. See you soon.